4HJY's holiday party featuring the one, the only, Gary Hoey. Coming December 2nd to the Met, that's really not that far away. If you check in your calendar, it's like two weeks. Right, tickets start at just 20 bucks to get in on the party. Uh, a lot of cool stuff to give away. Gary Hoey signing a guitar. We're going to have that for somebody in the audience and the, do a little meet and greet action as well. Uh, Boneyard Barbecue in Seekonk and Warwick. They are uh, power in this event, so we're going to have some great chow there as well. Gary Hoey live at the Met doing his rockin' Ho Ho Hoey holiday show December 2nd. Yeah, get all the info at 94HJY.com. Before you hit the pillow tonight, pray that your kids don't turn out like these clowns. They are idiots at this age. The best of Paul and L on 94HJY. Oh, that's because this is Vietnamese rapper Dan Tok Ka. Yes, our uh, segment called Not All Asians Are Geniuses. Uh, this story out of Hangzhou, China. Guy was admitted to the ER with a chopstick inserted deep into his penis. Ow! Man only identified as... You know, some people will do anything to get that last bit of rice. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, guy identified as Chen claims that he was too embarrassed to see a doctor about blood in his urine, so he took a chopstick to, to quote, investigate what the problem uh, was. Sure. Solid move there, yeah. Who hasn't done that, right? right? Take a well, look around. Not sure if the doctors bought that excuse uh, because the damage from the chopstick, pretty serious scan showing the chopstick had been inserted so far. <laughs> How do you far ask was far? it? It reached the man's rectal wall. What? Yes. A hell of a chopstick. <laughs> oh, that's going right well, through you, right? like a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a rotisserie at yeah. that point. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Put him on the spit. The, great at the pig roast. Put him on the spit and turn him around. It was a single stick, right? It wasn't both of them. <laughs> no, it was imagine. just one. Yeah, uh -huh. just one. He didn't want to show off. <laughs> <laughs> That'd just be showing off. The chopstick was successfully removed. Patient recovering in the hospital, but uh, long-term damage is yeah. still unknown. It's the therapy that'll keep him up there. <laughs> Paul and Al. Ow. Mornings on 94. HJY. And uh, sentenced yesterday, 12 years in jail for using his hypnotism skills to uh, sexually molest women. Wow. You know, you kind of wonder about things like that. Yeah, you know, you know what? If only, if, you know, because of the uh, the local hypnotists, uh, the whole Santos family using hypnotism really for the good of mankind. Mm -hmm. Hypnotist entertainer Hank Santos introduces a new hypnosis weight loss smoking cessation program. Hank Santos hypnosis <laughs> weight loss <laughs> Plan help me lose 97 pounds, but the downside is that I now constantly clock like a chicken. That's right. Hank Santos' weight loss smoking cessation program is effective, but that doesn't mean he won't have some wacky hypnosis fun at your expense. I quit smoking thanks to Hank Santos, but uh, now I get an erection whenever I hear a chicken. <laughs> Come here, you sexy little chicken. Stop. <laughs> Keep chasing me. That's Hank Santos Hypnosis Weight Loss Smoking Cessation Program. You will order yours now. Order yours now. Order <laughs> yours. Paul and Al. I hear many voices, but n not much sense. On 94 HJY. The best of Paul and Al's brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. 94 HJY presents the news that J J J Jen missed. Jen has the day off, so why not make fun of her while she's out, right? Because otherwise she'll just kick us in the nuts. Anyway. I'm scared of her when she's here. <laughs> Hundreds of millions of users of adult friend finder and related porn sites may have had their personal information compromised. Oh. Authorities say that among those hundreds of millions were at least six or seven women. <laughs> wow. But it might have been our Jen, too. Who knows? A Swedish chef was attacked by three Muslim men. Saw that. Because he looks like Donald Trump. 
He tried to explain himself, but, you know, since when could anybody understand what a Swedish chef says anyway, right? It's very hard to bear the chicky cookie. her in the what? Yeah. Oh, man. And finally, Monica Lewinsky recently delivered an anti-bullying speech in Sweden. Needless to say, she blew them away. So, hey. good job. Hey. Monica oh. And now, mornings on 94. HJY. Well, you were calling me like a tree hugger, commie, yeah. that kind of. Uh, that's what have you I are. been a crybaby? No, you've, you've been, handled this fairly yeah. well, I thought. Okay. Yeah, there, there are certainly people that have handled it worse. I've kind of cried after what happened last night. Do we have do we have a group <laughs> for that? Uh? Welcome to the uh, first meeting of Patriots and Presidential Elections Anonymous, where uh, we as Patriots fans and Hillary Clinton supporters work through our feelings of some pretty shocking defeats this week. Uh, uh, who wants to go first? Hi, uh, I'm Jerry. Hey, Jerry. And I'm a diehard Pats <laughs> fan and Hillary fan. And for starters, I am shocked and saddened by the Pats' loss to the Seahawks. I've been crying all night. That's a very healthy response, Jerry. Very good. I mean, I think what upsets me the most is that the Pats would have tied the game on the final play if the stupid wretch had called pass interference on Seattle against Gronk. I mean, come on. Oh, okay, Jerry, let's dial down the rage uh, a little bit. Let's move on to Hillary. <sighs> well, Hillary's loss really messed me up. I mean, I, I never saw her losing. Good, good. Especially not to a sexist, racist, arrogant, <laughs> ignorant, capitalist pig like Trump. I mean, <laughs> Oh, okay, Jerry, bottom line, Pat's lost, Hillary lost. What coping skills are you going to employ? I don't know. I guess maybe... Why don't all of us in this room go to D.C., destroy some property, light some cars on fire, <laughs> then go to Seattle and kick the crap out of some Seahawks fans? Who's with me? Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> well, that certainly didn't go well. <laughs> Home and L. Mornings on 94. No, this is going to cause some people to slam on their brakes and maybe uh, riot. But McDonald's is testing out a new Big Mac recipe for the first time in 50 years. According to the fast food chain, it's adding a spicy sriracha sauce mm. to the burger and testing it out at over 100 restaurants. Oh, I you They've were already uh, use real beef. They uh, already. Uh, oh, what a ball! It's a <laughs> cheap joke. They're already doing a smaller one and a bigger one. They're calling it the Grand Mac and the uh, I don't oh, know yeah. less than you got before Mac or something oh, like that. Oh my yeah. goodness! So I now it's sriracha. Just got smaller, yeah. <laughs> They charge us the same amount. That's probably true. I can't believe how much they charge for food now, by the way. When I used to work at McDonald's, yeah. and it wasn't that long ago. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. And by the way, today is a National Fast Food Day, oh, so okay. an appropriate story. Fallen out. Don't jam this monster down our throat. 94 HJY.